Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I am the Humble Gamer, and this is some more of Railway Empire. Now, it's been a few years in game since you last saw me. Um, we've expanded the, M the network a little bit. Last time we got to Peterborough. Um, we've done a couple of things. I've basically there were a few in few places around here that were um, offering us money. Um, so let's go and the Odecity Farmers got in touch with you as their rural business is currently experiencing difficulties. The family is looking for an investor near Thurso. Yeah, why not? That'll give me some inspiration to get up north to Thurso. Why not? What the hell? So I've got a business now, but either way, that's besides the point. Um, so, uh, as you can see here at Peterborough, we've now got a route that goes up to McNamara Manor and Amerson Breeding. That's got a nice new form of locomotive, which is this, the Derwent 060. That's running on it. Special freight locomotive, and it does its job pretty well, to be fair. It's doing... Has to be said, it's doing pretty well. Not that. Um, yeah, it's as you can see, it's making a decent amount of money for me. So, um, and then further over this way, we also extended to. It was Northampton, wasn't it? Yeah, Northampton, which is being run by a fairly standard, just a single John Bull locomotive. Um, you can see here picking up its fuel between Northampton and Oxford. But we are going to press on northward to Hull, our next destination. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick a train station in Hull. Might have to go a little bit further that way. Let me have a look actually. Let's see what I can do here. Because Peterborough is there, so if I just have to cross that over and then there. Uh, yeah, we need to cross. We need to cross the big the. Uh, the estuary anyway, don't we? So let's give ourselves a decent amount of time to cross that estuary then. So if we do that here at Hull and also while we're here at Hull build a maintenance building because we get them for free. And so then from Peterborough now you may notice that the track going to McNamara Manor goes through a cutting. I want to use this cutting here as a bridge for the main line. That's what we're going to try and do. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a climb, but I'm going to go in hole. It's off in this direction. <laughs> so we've got a bit of a, we've got a bit of a windy route, and also but actually that also gives us. That's going to cost us 271 grand. So we're connected to Hull, which is positive. Now, can we do... Can we double track it? That's the question. I think ultimately we can. Uh, it's not going to be cheap. It's not necessarily going to be pretty. And it's already costing us too much. We're only going to wait for 30 grand. Um, but while waiting to get that 30 grand, let me see if. Uh, Peterborough, yes, it's just leaving now. Yes, we're, we're basically rolling the roost. Is this, which is the London to Peterborough Express, which is the Firefly locomotive. I've got 182 grand now, but I want to leave it because I want to be able to afford locomotives, probably the Fireflies. Actually, no, it won't. The next section will be. Um, oh, yes, it's behind uh, Queen of the Mountains' fastest train, Firefly 222, hits 40 mph. Alright, so another company is quicker than us, which is frustrating. As true, LNER. Style. I should point out, normally I'm actually a GWR guy. But let's see how long does this guy have to... Oh, uh, because of that thing. And then that one will move, which is the London to Cambridge local. And then the Express will come through. It's only slightly frustrating, but never mind. 
power breakdown. Well, that's no good. That's no good. However, we can continue the existing planning and finish that off and be able to afford a couple of local trains that go from Peterborough to Hull. So let's set that up, shall we? So from Peterborough to Hull. Passengers and mail only. And then, so for that one we'll have a John Bull. And then another one from Hull to Peterborough, which is just freight only. And for that we will have a Derwent. So I'm going to be my standard freight locomotives, and while we're here, oh, I can research something else, and I shall choose to research the Spark Arrester. Yeah, why not the Spark Arrester? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's have a look at the flow of goods around Hull. So what have we got? When it wants. What have we actually got? Oh. Bloody buggering hell, hold on, I see what's gone on here. Get rid of that. Sorted. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I see what I've done. What I've done is I've put two trains facing each other. Yeah, I'm going to have to delete that, alright. But we'll do that in a second. So that was a complete cock up on my end, frankly. Put in a few signals just so it splits the track up so that trains don't always get stuck behind each other as they have in other bits of the route. One of the bits of the network, I should say, rather than route. What grew? London dwindles, huh? Probably the only railway company in history that could make London dwindle. But that's part of what we're trying to do here, isn't it? We're trying to prove that... Did that work? Is that sorted stuff? Uh, yes, I think it has. Where is Peter for to hold? Oh, it's just there. It's just got rid of its passengers. Fine. That's not the end of the world. Yes, 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 I know I've done that. That's not really here nor there. I like to drink wine more than I used to. Good. Anyway, I'm drinking more. <laughs> Good? I guess. I guess they will. London grows, London dwindles, London grows. <laughs> Make your mind up. Yes, I lost 60 grand that year, but that's fine. The GM American. No, we'll, go, we'll wait for the Jenny Lind, I think. But to do that, we shall have to get something else. I really want to get the covered cab. But do I need it? No, I don't think I do. Let's go for oil. It makes engines easier to maintain. You don't mind it if I take a little look at your cards. No, you? why not? But is that meat going anywhere outside of Northampton? That's the question. No, it is not. Let's connect Amos and Breeding to Northampton, then we can put. Another Derwent 060. Yay, I know you're writing clearance, don't worry. There's a 
There's a train now, I get it. So I can't tell, is London dwindling or growing? Cider maker, so it needs apples. I'm deliver I deliver apples to London, don't I? I'm sure I do. Should upgrade that to a Derwent. Uh, yes, I'll bid on that. Yes, I'll bid on it. I want the seat upholstery. Increases my passengers by four percent. That doesn't sound like a lot, but overall, those are those are going to add up. Look out! I've still got an ace or two up. Yes, I'm sure you do, but that just makes you a cheat, right? Anyway. Because what does London actually demand? Just a cider place. That's fine. That's fine. London will grow again. I'm not worried about London. I'm not worried about London at all. What I am worried about is getting... Stuff moving between... Oh, hello. Emerson Breeden to Peterborough, nice! That's a point, need to put a signal there. So that it doesn't just keep wandering onto the track. Peterborough to Hull, so this is the passenger. Oh, hello, Blue. If you don't know, Blue is the rabbit. Oh, we're ready to the new rabbit. New at time of recording, though, whether it'll be. Still need when this comes out. There we go, that's more like it. So let's go from Peterborough to Hull, shall we? As we leave Peterborough to go over the, uh, the goods line. I'm glad this worked out. I'm very glad this worked out, actually. Because I was worried for a bit that it just wouldn't, because this game does have tantrums. Oh no, this isn't over the this is over the river. Whatever river is outside Peterborough. Uh, I'm not sure I like that view right at the front of the local. I think I do prefer the uh, the view from upon the locomotive rather than as the locomotive. again because something's up in front of us. What is up in front of us? Um If you're going from Peterborough to Hull Something has gone wrong. I might get some money back. I did, not a lot, but I got some money back by being more threatening at previous auctions. Chewing stuff blue, I'll come and give you a, I'll come and give you some fuss in a bit. Right, okay, so something has gone dreadfully wrong with this whole to Peterborough stuff. So I'm just gonna delete both of those trains. And we'll start again, because Hull to Peterborough has not gone well. New train. Peterborough to Hull. Passenger and mail only. Um, in the farm near Dublin. Yeah, why not? 
This is being served by another railway, they can start paying me. Oi! Get out of it, rabbit! <laughs> now, at Peterborough Hall, you get a John Bull. You're waiting for clearance, that's fine. I can, I can cope with that now. Another new train from Hull to Peterborough. Freight only. Had a Derwent on into it, thank you. So Hull is gonna want some apples, isn't it? So let's give let's give Hull apples. Okay, so that's that sorted. Oh yeah, I know. Need to put a train on it, don't I? From Clark Manor. This hasn't worked, has it? This definitely hasn't worked. And the question has to be why hasn't it worked? Right. This is all just going so badly. I know what I need to do. figured itself out now, hasn't it? Lovely. There, and just a Derwent, please. There we do another train, which is from Hull to Peterborough. Freight only, add locomotive, Derwent, good. Some more research. Telegraph station. Yeah, why not? Why not? We can now get the Iron Duke. 
and the Jenny Lind. You know, and Juve will come next up, hasn't it? So, Hull has been a problem. <laughs> Hull to Peterborough has been a problem, but it's fine. I can. London dwindles. No, I don't want to buy any more farms. Warehouse is overfilled. Around 3.5 apples, well, they're getting. They're getting that, that's not an issue. I can't do anything else for London. There's literally nothing I can do for you, London. Cambridge grew, though. Cambridge grew in size, so Cambridge has now become a bigger city. Still don't know what it wants. Apples, which it gets. Beef, which it could get. I could start delivering beef, I could start delivering other goods to other places, I guess, but we'll just have to see. So next is really, we're looking at Newcastle. We will go through Middlesbrough, we'll go along the coast to go around and into Middlesbrough this way, and then from Middlesbrough up to Newcastle again, pretty much staying along the coast, and then again coastally up through here, and eventually to Edinburgh. But I do want to get some of the southern stuff as well, but that's not sort of my next goal. But yeah, so my main, as if you haven't seen the first two episodes, my main goal with this is to get from London to Edinburgh to do the the route of the Flying Scotsman, the, the northeastern, the East Coast Railway. Fulfillment of demand 55%. Well, what do you demand? I'm giving you apples. <laughs> I'll see if I can find your fish. I'll see what I'm going to do with London at some point. I need to find them fish, I think. We should meet up sometime for some tea and candy. No. No. Where's the place to produce its fish? Oh, there. And it wants to go to Cambridge. Okay, well, I might actually do that then, see if I can get London growing again. So, Johnston Fisheries right on the sea, clearly. Um two routes, one to Cambridge, one to London. We'll do the London one first. Idiot. Hmm. 
No, the short answer is I don't have this. There has got to be a way to connect this fishery. <laughs> that simply has to be. was the problem with building London as a terminus. <laughs> fisheries. You know what? That's kind of how London worked anyway, so... I'm cool with it. <laughs> right, so from Johnston Fisheries to London, automatic. You're going to be a Derwent, and we are going to follow you before the end of this video, because this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm kind of proud that I did it. I make no bones about that. I'm very proud that I did it. <coughs> it's obviously a big train. Let's see. Top speed of 17 mph so far. Could take us a while to get to London on this route. The good thing is, once I get to London, I can send a second. I can have a second loco bringing fish. That's the thing I can do. I'm not quite sure why it had such a spasm at that, but it did, and it had an issue with it, and that's ultimately what went on. So I've just spent 200 grand connecting. No, don't worry about the animal report. I'm. I'm making money, that's the thing. And I'll make up back the money from the fisheries line. That's not an issue. It's genuinely quite a nice little run so far. Not a million miles away from the coast, it's just a few million miles away over there. That's ridiculous. That is the most expensive railway for fish ever created. It's 
got to be. 200 grand. It's highly unnecessary. Well, if it makes London grow, then it makes London grow. London is the capital. I really should, I really should put some money into it. I say this Derwent is a lovely locomotive. Coal at the front, presumably water at the back. <laughs> As we now join the main line. <laughs> Honestly, London had better be happy that we're giving them fish. London, I present to you fish. All of the fish. Eat it. Eat it, London. Eat all of the fish. Eat them all. Because it cost me a bomb getting it to you. London grows, yeah. So now it's getting fish. And I presume this is just gonna work, is it? He just goes off on that little bit. Yes, now as he does, we shall keep our eye on London and, that, and that's it for this episode so thank you ever so much for watching if you are enjoying what you're seeing please like and subscribe check out the game in the description below also check out the links to my uh, train simulator stuff and to my Sodor snippet stuff in the description below check out the annotations you're about to see on the end screen thank you ever so much for watching I was me that was Railway Empire see you in the next episode guys goodbye yeah, and there's where the pump goes down to the sea a bit of water texturing means we needs moving yeah. Yeah, so yeah, over this side, over this side, you've got the the marshes and the wetlands and the fens.